Gili. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a clipper review, all right? So first things first. I was asked by some random company to review this clipper. It's a Bond B, all right? It's a five in one. It's kind of cool. Um, so first off, check it out, all right? See this? This is how you change your blade length. See that? I thought that was pretty cool. And it's wicked quiet. All right? So obviously you have to charge it in, um, you know, with a cord. But there is, um, I wish there was a, a dock. That would be very cool. So I've been using it for a little bit. And it's, I guess I would have to compare it to my Bravura. Um, I don't think you can change out this blade. And I'm not going to mess with it at this moment. But, um. doesn't look like it but it's not it wasn't very expensive it's on Amazon it's where I found the company they emailed me asked me to review it um, so let me show you what came with it because if you got one this is what you would get to you get the clipper this is the box Bondi pet you would get of course a cord for charging There's a pair of shears an all-purpose grooming comb, a little brush to clean out your blade, repair when you use it, okay, and plastic guard combs that go on it. I don't like plastic, but this thing really doesn't heat up, so I might try it on Bella a little bit today, but I usually use my Andis on her. I'm going to do, oh, see, this is hard to get off. Well, it comes with... One, two, three, six combs. Not bad, right? I did some reading online, and the reviews of most people were like, this is good for, like, at-home grooming. But I'm a professional groomer. Um, so they asked me to review it and do a YouTube video. So I'm going to do an entire review on clippers, but I'm going to send this one specifically to them. Um, because uh, one of my followers um, asked for a clipper review. So I wanted to show you using this. So it's on its lowest setting, shortest setting. And the top of the blade is um, plastic, I imagine. But I've been using this um, for like clean feet and stuff, and so far it's all right. I don't have any complaints. So I'm gonna turn it on, and I'm gonna clean Bella's feet for you. This is Bella. She's a Havanese. So when I clean her feet, in most dogs' feet. I cradle them in the back. As you can see, I'm cradling her, she's little. I cradle that foot, all right? Do I get all the hair? She has hair, she's Havanese. from between his little toes. I have to say this one thing. Sorry, Wall, but sometimes the wall has a tendency to nick. This has not nicked. It's really quiet, and I don't know how powerful it would be for a groom, to be honest with you, but it's, I really like it for clean feet, and it's not very expensive at all. So for new groomers, at this point, I would say if you were looking for a cheap five-in-one, I mean an expensive five-in-one, I don't know about its you know long-term quality. I've only charged it once, but I've used it several times. That this would be something you might want to try out. So as you can see I'm cradling her foot, give her support. And this is prep work I'm doing before her bath just in case you're wondering. It's been six weeks, so she dirty, but she do good playing. You can get in between the feet, in between those paw pads, and get that mat out. See that? I hope you can see that. Look at it. Without hurting her or fussing at her, her fussing at all. There's a mat in between her toes, which is pretty thick. Oh my goodness. Wow. She got into something. There's like a stick in there. Wow, it's hard. But it, oh, 
Oh, she did. That must have hurt. Oh, my goodness. See? Aw. Oh, baby. That came right out. She's going to be so much happier. So now that my freezer turned off, where I store my raw dog food for clients, you can hear it. Pretty quiet. It's really light. Actually, let me do the Bravura for this one. All right, I also use my Bravura on the lowest setting. Quiet. Rivera is stronger, for sure. I know some groomers, for bigger dogs, will like use the 10 blade in their andis for paws. I'm not doing that. Some people scissor, that's not me. So I'm just checking in between her pads. Make sure there's nothing else in there. So let me do this one last leg with the Von B. I'm going to try and make it one longer. Let me see. I'm going to come over here. I hope you can see. So it's not as strong. I'm definitely noticing. It's not as strong as the Andes, but it's still doing it. I mean, it's not as strong as the wall. Excuse me. But it's getting in there. I'll go back to the short. And it's pulling out that hair between those pads. It's trimming it around like it does with all the others. Like I said, since I've been using this, I was worried about it nicking, and it has not. See, turn my arms up. Sorry, you're looking at my pit. Acceptable. Okay. Now I'm going to use it for her underbelly. And let's see what happens here. Nice and soft. I'm going to do one side with the Bond B pet. And the other with my Bravura. More sanitary. Gentle. those of you watching, Bella is a paralegal. If you follow my stories on Insta or Facebook, this is um, Rupert's secretary, and Rupert is in love with her. I just did Rupert earlier. Um, okay, so now Rivera for the other side of the belly. Just as carefully, just as respectfully, Sorry, my phone is going off. It's the girls, Melanie and Janine. So I'm going to lift up and show you her underbelly, all right? <laughs> Sorry, baby. That side is done with the Bondi pet. This side done with 
the law of Averna. There you go. Right? Now, I gotta say about the Bavura first. I'm not knocking it because it's one of my favorites. Okay, it's a five and one for those of you new groomers who don't know. All right, it's nine, 10, 15, um, 30, 40 blades. All right, blade numbers. And it comes, wall makes slide on attachment combs as well. I still can't believe that is hard. You hear that? She is going to be a happy, happy girl now that that's gone. What that is? Some, maybe uh, it's like sap. Anyway, all right. So those are those two. So now I'm going to do her under her armpits, one with the Bombi pet, because she has a tendency to tangle because she has hair. So I always gently. This is a very um, vulnerable area. All grooming areas for dogs are vulnerable, just so you know. But I'm using this on the lowest setting. And I always scoop out under the arms. It's a high friction area. Um, this does come with the cord for charging, but it does not come with a block. So you have to have an available USB port. This girl gets a lot of activity, so I gotta make sure she does not get matted in these areas. Super sensitive areas. It kind of feels like it's getting a little loud right now. All right, so that's with the Bombi cut, and then with the Bavura on, double check, 40. Or the shortest, the nine. Oh. What you been doing? Swimming? I'm gonna get that out of there. It's into her skin. I usually don't go that low. Prep work done, equal, so far, ish. Rivera comes with a docking station and I know I can do a full haircut with it. I'm gonna go charge this thing because it's already, it's, I jinxed myself now, it's starting to go low. See you in a bit. So let's get into Andis, one of the most popular cordless out there, Pulse ZR2. Um, it's a little heavier, of course, than the Rivera. It's a little heavier than some of the corded clippers, but that's the battery. Um, when you get it, it comes with a docking station and it comes with a battery. You can also order another battery so that you have backup. But I have done like three standard poodles in a day on this dude on a single charge. So here's the other thing, all right? Normally, um, you've got your Andis blades. A lot of people use buttercuts or, um, you know, another kind that is compatible. Um, so you have your blade drive inside here. This is your clip. So you slide it on, clip it in. It's a little louder, but it has five speeds. 
That's the lowest. Right? Five, four, three, two, one. All right. One of the things I'm not nuts about is the on-off switch there. I wish there was a button. Okay? That's awkward for me because I have little hands, um, I guess. That's why. All right. So um, Bella today is going to get a half inch. So um, Wall makes snap-on combs. All right? And this is what I normally use. So you put it... Oops. Here we go. You put it on the back of the blade, you push forward and snap down. All right, getting them off, push forward, lift up. Okay, you don't want to pull your blade up with your snap-on comb, all right? One other thing I wanna show you in just a second. So the wall snap-on combs are the most popular, all right, because they snap on. Andis did come out with magnetic combs. And let me show you how these work. Personally, not crazy about them. I've actually had one fall off with the 10 blade and in the middle of a room. Um, the magnet is not strong enough for me. Um, you can use them either, if you can see here, 30 blade, if you switch this little novel, not thing here, then it is appropriate for a 10 blade, all right? So then it just goes, you can see the magnet, right? You gotta make it, you gotta make sure you got it in place right. So you start again at the bottom. No, nope. wrong. I haven't used this in a while because I'm not nuts about them, all right? Just gonna be honest, I'm not endorsed. Look at that. What the heck? It's on 10 blade setting. There it is. So, yeah, that's one of the things I didn't like. Um, just be honest. So, it came off just like that in the middle of a groom and boom, bad groom and gave it away for free. Um, didn't hurt the dog at all, but that's why. So I'm gonna show you the difference um, between this and something else I have recently found you to use in conjunction with my Andis Pulse CR2. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of these bad boys. Um, these are for sale, cheap, if anybody really likes them. I'll sell you mine. I got two sets. I got the ones with the color code and I got the black ones. Just putting that out there. Um, all right, so I have, Bella has been sprayed with um, Hydra Grooming Style. All right, um, I use that prior to uh, haircuts, dogs that get haircuts. All right, and fluffing her up. Make sure you don't bend your wrist. Okay, fluffing her up. She's already been fluffed. So I'm just gonna go in with the regular size blade, all right, and the wall clip on with the half inch, all right? Nothing wrong with it. I just found something I prefer that I like better, ready? So, those little rolls coming off, it's really satisfactory, all right? She's older and her coat is breaking down. So, you can see the landscape that you're covering, right? Not bad, she's a medium sized dog, all right? Not bad, but you ready? All right, at Hershey this year, oh, see? One. All right, this is, this is one of the reasons why I like what I'm about to show you. So push up, take off your blade, lift up, slide off your blade. You ready for this bad boy? These are from Fur Zone, I think it's Master Cuts. Um, a wide blade, dude. 10 WF. You can get these at Pet um, Store Direct. All right, that's where I got it at Hershey. You slide that baby on just as usual. All right, snap it in. They have different size, different length guard combs. They have 10, they have seven, they have five, they have 30. They have the most commonly used 
um, blades, all right, and guard attachments. This guy going on, the first time I put it on, I was like, whoa, wicked easy. Way better than the wall snap-on comb. You put it, as usual, like you would with any snap-on comb, under the blade, right in the back, by the blade drive uh, hinge. That's it, dude. Like, seriously. It's that easy. It's, like, seamless. There's also a little grippy area here for if you need it, but you don't. All right, so you ready? I'm going to turn Bella around here. Now, let's watch. I love the finish. I think that's part of the reason why my finishes have been really good since I got back from Hershey. I'm not going to lie. It's because of this guy. So I'm sorry it got cloudy. It's going to rain here. So here we go. A lot more. I, I like to say it covers a lot more real estate. All right. And I'm going to do the rest of her groom with this blade and this attachment. So you can see what I'm talking about. Going a little slower than usual here, just so for your educational purposes. Let me see if I can get you guys a better view if I bring her down a little. Girls are blowing up. Sorry for all the dings. Underneath. Boom. Um, I'm not so much, she gets a pet cut. I'm not so worried about her confirmation right now. This is just a regular old pet cut. Look at that. Taking down that length. I am not using a grooming loop with Bella because I know her. She knows me and I am on her. New groomers, until you get to this place of energy and connection with your dogs, always use safety devices, all right? I know she's not gonna be jumping off my table. Something big must be happening with Janine and Melanie because they're blowing me up. But, all right, so this is not about <clears throat> grooming technique. This is about the clipper, right? And I love it. She's got a little, she's old, so her skin is loose. She's a little overweight. Olga taught me, pull the skin a little this way, get on the side of the spine so you don't do, 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 bump on top. Groomer tip. You can use this guy. Big guys, little guys, medium guys. Um, I do prefer the Rivera for smaller dogs. But I'm so in love with this blade right now that I'm using it on all my dogs that take a half inch in. The majority of them do, because it's a good length for pets. So not only has it allowed me to cover more real estate in one swipe, but I really love the finish that this blade brings with this. This guy is my, my workhorse, my go-to, all right? Along with my Wall Rivera. The Bond V-Pet, I think, is good for beginners if you can't quite afford a Rivera yet. Um, or if you're an at-home groomer, doing it yourself. But if you're a professional um, groomer, for me right now, I've never tried the Ambus Pulse Li5, which is the new cordless 5-in-1. Uh, 
But um, so I have nothing to compare it to other than this Bondi. But I can tell you right now, um, Janine did a review on the Andis 5 and 1 versus the Wall Rivera. And um, you can go to Rooms by Janine and watch that. Um, but for me, they're the only two I care to use. On my wall, over there, right here, um, I'll show you. I have an Andis, uh, so over there I have an Andis AGC 2-speed and I have the Ultra Edge. I don't touch them anymore. Not at all. I don't even touch them. Now that I got the Pulse CR, they're just sitting there. Anybody want to purchase two clippers or at least one? Let me know. I don't use them. All right, so I'm going to turn Bella around for you. Just show the other side real quick. A lot of people like cord corded clippers. This is my go-to, my workhorse. I can rely on it. I know it keeps the charge. Um, I also made a video about how to change the blade drive assembly on this, so go watch that, all right? So new groomers, here's just a little rundown for you, and for those of you who may be um, wall preferred, um, or uh, I don't know how to say the one with the H, Hein, Heisen something, is it Heineken? No. Uh -huh. For those of you, um, I'm not dogging anybody. I'm just saying these are my preferences, all right? Wall is an amazing company. They are fixing their five-in-one blade thing. Something big is happening. Um, they're fixing that five-in-one blade issue. Andis is wicked supportive. Also, a very good company. And proud to be doing a review. So I hope this helped. Um, this is all I have for Clippers. So um, I just wanted to share that with you, and I hope this helped. Please remember, I know there's a lot of you watching. Can you just hit the subscribe button so I know? Send me a message about the videos. Let me know how I'm doing. I really want to know and make sure that whatever this content is that you're watching, what your reaction is to it, so that I can make sure to... Um, you know, bring you content that's relevant, that matters, all right? So this beautiful girl, can you already, where do you see the finish? I'll take pictures after and add them to the end. I love, love, love the wide blade with the power of the Andis ZR2. I love, love, love the rechargeable base, blade, weight, grip, feel, of the Brevera lithium battery lasts a very long time. I have two of them and I only use one. Um, and then as the Kamado, sorry, not the Kamado, but my bad. And you go charge this Bond V Pet. This um, for the everyday groomer or if at home, if you wanna do you know, some clean feet on your dog, I don't think um, this is a bad way for you guys to go. It is available on Amazon, okay? All right, so Bella and I thank you for your time today. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and like and make any comments that you want and I will get back to you. Tell me what you need. I'm here for you. Jilly Mucho. Love you much.